Good day, everyone, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. This is the Juice with Loba, and I am Loba. And on this video, we are discussing Wura episode 77 to 80. And truth be told, whenever I'm making Wura video, I'm always very excited because. I really do just, I really enjoy this series and it has been a wonderful watch. And I really, really like, I don't know what I'll say, but you know, Labake going to give Tony this only water and telling him the, um, the daughter really needs it and they need to, to sprinkle it in her just to bring out those evils. And I was like, yes, I support Labake on this. Koisola needs to get the evil in her out of her body because. I don't know, Koinsula is not an fool and she, when they introduced this character to this film, I knew this, this series will really go deep into something different and I know Koinsula would be a trouble, she would be an and fool on this series. So I was just so like, I was laughing when I saw that scene where Labake was telling Tony that yes, if he needs to give Koinsula this water, sprinkle it on her she have it but i was like oh my god who is giving labake this mind to do this so that was that for that scene next thing was lulu next thing i'll be discussing is that of lulu begging Bora that she should pardon um consular and let and just drop the charges for me i hate when people beg me for things like this because you know like this thing like i'm just talking from my pura's perspective pura do not want to actually drop these charges on the norm, Rura is ready to send that girl to prison. You understand? But situation like this, she just caught in between Anvil and the armor where she cannot just so do anything. She just have to succumb to this um begging and everything. Like she just have to succumb, like, okay, I'm just going to look into it, I'm going to do this. But Wura deep in her mind, like Wura do not want to really really drop those charges. So Situation like that is like situation where people are actually begging you to stop doing something or like begging you like oh she made very you. stupid and rational decision just because she was hurt but I can't let her go to jail. Mom, if Koyi has a criminal record, it's just going to make it super difficult for her to do anything serious with her life. Please, I'll think about it. Just... You don't want to really help, or you're just doing it because everybody's telling you. Please, please, and please. It's just so annoying. Yes, so then we have this thing of JJ. Like, JJ is fast becoming very, very annoying, I must say. Like, JJ is becoming too annoying. The way he had to be an arrest was the name Dimitri, sucking him and the rest. I feel like, like, just the way Paulina said in the previous four episodes, where she's like, so small, he actually shake cool because JJ is doing way too much. Oh, so it's just so crazy how JJ had to go back to Dimeji. And I like how Paulina just utilized that moment to ensure that Dimeji have increasing salary. It's really, really making sense. I couldn't stop laughing. I was very excited, like, wow, Paulina did a great job here. Yeah. Then Coinsola and Alice. You know, Coinsola is back and she have plans. I haven't met this new man at the restaurant. How she just wants to plant this man in the house so that they can probably start executing their plans and the rest. And me, I really feel one thing I actually just like is the fact that Bura is not buying her lies. Bura is actually saying, like, no, this girl has plans. This girl is not a saint that she claimed to be in the rest. And for me, what one thing that is just so annoying is how Tony is so blind in that house. Is blind to everything Hura is doing, is blind to everything Coinsola is up to. But it is what it is. Some people are just like that. Then this next video where we had Hura and Tony arguing about who stays and who do not stay. I just feel like who who, who is like right and the rest. You know, um Tony is of a view that um Hura don't want people to come around and the rest. She is always claiming the house is full, but She's she welcome like at nephew JJ was there with them and the rest and Rura in defense is like she never said so but it was like no that part is just so like 
a very confusing part. What do you think? Do you think it Bura is the one who is being selfish? She's ready to get to um have a family in the house, but she's not always welcoming Tony's family into the house. Or do you think it's just Tony being over dramatic because of Coinsola's situation presently? What do you think about this? So what happened last week? How she found herself on the wrong side of the law. Your father is talking about how she stole money. Yes. Then the round table conversation, I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that bit. It just tells how pained Wura is about everything. You know, Wura is still pained about the fact that Coinsola has stolen. You know, when, what's the name, Tony was trying to call and I was like, oh, Coinsola got to the wrong side of the law. And over I was like, no, she stole. Don't actually kind of call. Just call it speed is speed. Don't try to sugarcoat what she had done. I couldn't stop that. I felt like Wura is a dog. She know the she know the like she doesn't take nonsense and it's just so funny that it was like that. Then there's this sort of video. What's going on here? We are dating. Oh of the Meiji marking his territory. I was like, oh, <laughs> who is giving the Meiji this boss is now having? Is it this love? Or it's just like, oh, I've, like, at this point, it's, it's this, this love is like do or die. Yeah, you understand? Because I actually like how he's marking his territory, trying to let the Meiji know, like, yes, what we share is just being a friend and the rest. So try to stay away from my babe. And also, What's this girl's name? Sumitsu was actually marking her territory. Then now this trash, Dimeji and this other girl, I don't know any, are actually doing then. Because I feel like she must have told JJ's, JJ lies about Dimeji and the rest. And, you know, the two of them are just so um angry and bitter about Dimeji. And I'm not so surprised about them coming together to do all of that which they have done to Dimeji. And I just feel like, why don't you two just decide to be together instead of having to be a pain on the neck of people who love themselves? Like these people, they don't really want, they don't really care about true love. <laughs> They're so bitter. Then I will talk about this last scene of Bura threatening to go down with JJ and um, is it Detective Colapo? Listen to me and listen to me clearly. If I go down. You both go down. Like seriously, you know, Wura is one very, 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 very. I don't even know how many very can actually qualify how very brutal, wicked Wura is. And I'm so sure this threat will now really push JJ to want to do something crazy to this new guy. You understand? And it's just so crazy. So I'm looking forward to how we were, because I feel like coming episode now will just be these people trying to do something mad to this new guy and coin solar then we should see who will be smarter will this guy be able to do something like will he be able to pull up something you understand will he be able to get to bring down Wura or Wura will still find a way I, I still feel like Wura will still find a way through Wura will still end them coin solar and this new man that's how I feel because this is what it is, you know, we all know what Wura have been doing so far. So this is all I'll be discussing for episode 77 to 80 of Wura on Showmax. So please and please and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye for now.